Where should I expect my soundstage? This question comes from John in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Turn the page here. Hey Paul, how wide should I reasonably expect my soundstage to be? Often in your videos I hear you say that the soundstage is very expansive with certain equipment. How far to the right of the right speaker and to the left of the left speaker should the soundstage extend? I have a limited listening area which makes for about a 40 degree spread right and left for a total of 80 degree soundstage. That's already a pretty nice soundstage at my listening distance, but should I expect one even wider? Seldom do I perceive the soundstage to extend outside the width of the speakers. That's my wife talking to me about lunch. Um, <laughs> We touched on this briefly in, a, in, a, in an older video, uh, I think maybe it ran yesterday, I'm not sure, when we talked about firing uh, into the room lengthwise or widthwise. I'm going to tell you something that you're probably not going to be happy with, but uh, I mean, I, I can only share with you my experiences. So, soundstage is and we can all agree on this, an illusion created by two-channel audio. Now, in my system, the IRS-5 in Music Room 1, the sound stage is completely divorced from the speakers. It extends far to the left, far to the right, and far behind the speakers, outside of the walls of the speakers, uh, of, of, the, of the room, sorry, on some recordings. So the first thing we have to get clear about is which recordings are we talking about? Because if you're listening to the average, um, I don't know, the, the, the average recording today, there's not much in the way of sound staging. So it's really tough when you ask me this question because I've got a bevy of tracks that I listen to on the server or through our uh, direct stream memory player that I've curated over the years that has enormous sound stage, right? And I know, and I have to have these because, you know, many times when we're judging electronics, we have a new design, we have a competitor's product, which we rarely do, but, but we do. Uh, or somebody brings one in and says, you know, how's the sound stage? Is it truncated? Is it confused? Is it tunneled? Is it proper? Well, in order to do that, I've got to have references. And I have to know those references. So I have a collection of tracks I know the soundstage to be huge on. So very first thing, we have to come to some kind of commonality when we are talking about the tracks. You know, what tracks are we talking about here? And that's important because if I play, let's, let's, let's take one of my favorites and I've written about this before, Reference Recordings makes a CD that is the, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's got the Rudder Requiem on it. Um, I think that may, be, that may be the name of the track. But anyway, look up Reference Recordings, uh, the Rudder Requiem, and it's got the Dallas Symphony, uh, the, or the Dallas uh, Choral Group. There's like 300 people. Um, there, and well, oh, here's another one, uh, Cantati Domino, the Proprius. It's on album. It's on. It's been out for 20, 30 years. I mean, it's a classic, a chestnut, as we like to say. Um, so either one of those, the the Cantati Domino, on Proprius, that you you can find that on Amazon. Uh, uh, John Rutter's Requiem from Reference Recording with the big pipe organ and the 300 people choir. Let's start with that. Now. If you put that on your system, you should be able to turn the lights down low, close your eyes, whatever you have to do to eliminate the physicalness of your speakers that are anchoring your brain. Your brain saying, look, it's coming from there. How is it possible to be divorced from the speakers? But that, either one of those tracks should be 100% divorced from your speakers. No sound should come from your speakers. The hall should extend well beyond the left, the right. It should travel behind your wall, depending on how far away your, your rear wall is, or your front wall, whatever you want to call it, the wall behind the speakers. 
and it should, when you close your eyes or darken the room, there should be a huge stage as if you're in a huge church or a choir hall, which is in fact where it was recorded. So these distantly mic'd uh, tracks should provide that. If it doesn't, and many times it doesn't, I mean, I've listened to it where it's like eh, trapped right between the speakers, coming out of the speakers, not behind the speakers. So pick that track, play it, and if it doesn't, that's a long, it's a long story. It could be your speakers, it can be the setup, the electronics, the cables, it all matters. And when you get it right, it is so magical. That's, I always play that for people when they show up here. They want to hear what a real sound stage sounds like. They want to hear in a room how 300 people can explode and never come out of the speakers. And it's magical, truly magical. Get your reference material, give it a try, and if not, maybe we'll do a few series on how to, how to gain imaging, but it should extend far beyond your speakers in all directions. You should have at least 180 degrees, if not more. Okay, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.